Hi everyone, it's Jenny here from The Bear and the Fox and today I'm going to show you how to make a boat out of an empty egg carton. So these are some of the things you're going to need to make your boat. We're making an egg carton boat so the number one thing you're going to need is an empty egg carton. We've been using these uh, six packs but you can also make a boat out of a bigger egg carton. Then for your masts you're going to either need some um, drinking straws, they can be um, paper or plastic, we only have uh, paper straws these days, or you can use some wooden skewers. Um, be careful with little ones because they have pointy ends. And then to make your sails, you're going to need some paper. So you could either use some white paper and some pens to decorate them, or you could use some pattern paper, you could use old bits of uh, gift wrap and then depending what kind of sail you're going for, if you're going to go with the straws you will also need some blue tack or some plasticine and if you're going to go with the skewers for your masts then you'll also need some sellotape. Now additionally we can also add a little bit of bunting to our boats in which case you will need some twine or yarn or wool and optionally if you've got any coloured tape this is really great for really quickly making little flags to go on your boat but you can also just use paper and um, just a couple of other things you'll also need a pair of scissors is going to come in very handy and a glue stick and last but not least if you want to you can also paint your boats so you'll need some paint we often use acrylic paint because it dries quite quickly and it's got good coverage but make sure that you um, protect your table and your children um, and you'll need some paint brushes so let's get started so first I'm going to show you how to make the boat made with straws for the mast so the first thing you need to do is you need to cut the lid off your egg box, which I've already done here. And like I said, you can paint the boat if you want to. This is going to be the base of your boat. So I'm going to skip the painting and go straight to showing you how to make the mast and the sails. So for these sails, what we've done is we've cut a piece of paper, sort of this shape, and all you need to do is poke a little hole through the bottom and the top. This might be a job for the grown-ups. And then you just take your straw and you push it through here and out here. And if you make those holes tight enough, that's all you will need. That sail will stay firmly in place. Now here I've gone for a little variation. I've made a slightly smaller sail and then I've put a little flag on the top as well and to do that it's very easy all you need to do is cut a strip of paper and then you fold it in half and you wrap that around your straw and then you just glue those two bits together and then you just take your scissors and snip a little bit at the end and then once you've got your two masks what you do is you take them and you poke them into the top of these pointy bits of your egg carton. So you might again have to make a little hole with your scissors. I've already done that here. So we're gonna pop them in. And as you'll see, they're a bit floppy and they kind of just go all the way through. So this is where it's good to have some blue tack or some plasticine and just make a little strip like that and then just wrap it around bottom edge of your mask like so and we do the same thing for this one and there you go that's your first boat ready to sail so next I'm going to show you how to make the boat that uses the skewers for the mast so again we start by cutting off the lid off our base to make this mast Again, first we need to make our sail. So you take a sheet of paper, I've got A4 sheet of paper here, and you fold it in half. Then you decide how long you want your sail to be. So um, I want mine to be a little bit shorter. 
So just cut off a bit at the top. So, and then you want to cut. So this is the open side here and the folded side here. So you want to cut from this corner here on the open side and you're aiming for diagonally across to the other corner here and you should end up with a triangle like this. Now if you want to you can use your pens and the kids can go crazy and get all creative and they can decorate the sail or you can use patterned paper. Then you take your skewer and you put glue all over this side of the, the triangle you've just cut out and then you place the skewer like that and then you just fold it over and glue it into place. And here's one that I made earlier. So now we've got to put our sail on our boat. So this time you're going to take the pointy end of your skewer so again be careful with little people this might be one for the grown-ups to do and you want to jam it into the side here so not into the top into the side of one of these two middle bits of the carton and you want to do it on this side not not on the middle side on the outer side okay so you just do jam that into the cardboard and you'll see it's immediately going to flop over so what you need to do is get a bit of sellotape, snip, and then just put that around the skewer like that. And there we go. Now you've got an upright sail. So now if you wanted to, you could add another sail on this side or you could add some bunting, which is what I'm going to do. So for your bunting, what you need is a bit of twine or yarn or wool that's a little bit longer than from here to here so just make a little knot in the top slip it over the top and pull it into place you can do a double knot if you want I'm just gonna do a single one just now and the sail stops it uh, slipping down any further and then with your scissors again maybe a job for the grown-ups make a little hole just on this side here just in that end bit and then thread a piece of string or wool through that hole and tie it into place like so and again you can make a double knot if you want to so now you're ready to decorate your bunting so you can use the method I showed you earlier where you cut a strip of paper and then you just wrap it around and glue it into place and then snip the ends or which works really well because we're just using small bits. If you've got coloured tape, you can cut a bit of tape, snip, and then you just take that round and then snip the ends. There we go. And you've got a little bit of bunting, and then you can do that all the way round. So there we have our boat with the sail and the bunting and as a final little touch we're going to put a little flag at the top as well. So there we go, just wrap that around there, snip the end and there we go, boat number two. So there we have our two boats. I hope you were able to follow along. If you have any questions, just give me a shout. I would love to see pictures of your boats, so please feel free to share them with me. You can find me over on my blog and also on Twitter and Instagram under Bear and Fox Blog. So happy crafting and I will see you soon. Bye.